Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotex Solutions team. I am Sanjay. Now from this video session series guys, we are going to create a new exciting playlist of PHP framework, something called Code Igniter framework. So we are going to start from this video session. So this is our first part. So inside this video session guys, we are going to introduce what is code igniter what basically we have the playlist plans and we are going to download the setup and we will make our project folder and also guys if you're a beginner to this channel then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous playlist to get the clear concept about several technologies we have learned so far so if you back to our youtube channel then you can find the several technologies of wordpress and php frameworks we have covered in different different stages all the video session series we have learned from the beginners stages. Inside this playlist, we have covered two frameworks of PHP. So if I type here, inside this search box, let's type cake PHP. If I press enter, this is the cake PHP tutorial guys that we have covered inside this playlist. Now again, if I type suppose instead of cake PHP, if I type Laravel and if I press enter, this is the Laravel framework we have covered and also with the help of Laravel framework guys we have made a project called Laravel admin panel development. So if I type here this is Laravel admin panel development tutorial. So far inside our YouTube channel we have covered two PHP frameworks called our cake PHP and the Laravel framework. So we are going to cover the next framework of PHP something called code igniter framework. This playlist actually we are making because we are getting multiple requests to make the tutorial of Code Igniter latest framework. So let's start about the first discussion about the Code Igniter framework. So Code Igniter framework basically a PHP framework which basically follows our MVC pattern means a model, a view and controller. So what we have seen so far in Cake PHP and Laravel that it follows the same architecture that we have to if we want to connect any database queries when we have to make our functions inside model and also if you want to make the presentational view for the users then we have to make the files inside our views folder and also to connect our views and models means our database queries we want to use our controllers so it basically follows our MVC pattern and all the MVC pattern frameworks are by default object oriented. So there are many features of coding editor we can find inside the several websites we have into our online website. So if you want to study about the features of Coordinator Framework, just go to Google and type about the features of Code Igniter. You get about the thousands of links where you can study about the features. Now what basically we have the playlist plan inside this Code Igniter beginner tutorial. So if we back to browser, inside this website, this is the official website of CodeIgniter.com. So inside this, we have a well-defined pre define our documentation actually the developer has provided so if we go to the documentation section just click on that inside this documentation section as we can see that the code igniter has released inside two versions first code igniter 2.x and this is our 3.x so currently we are learning about the current version of code igniter something called 3.1.0 sorry 10 so how can we find the latest version detail about inside this website? So if I open in this tab into a duplicate, just get me back. So inside this, as we can see that the latest version is now 3.1.10. Now go to this tab. Now inside this 3.x, here we can find the three different tabs we have. First tab is read the user guide online, download the user guide and download the EPUB format. So if I click on the first link, it will give the documentation about the 3.x version of Code Igniter where, you can, where we can find all the basic topics actually the Code Igniter has. So inside this, we can find the several topics, all the topics we are going to cover inside our video tutorial called Code Igniter Framework Beginner Tutorial. So inside that, we have a point that what is basically our playlist plans so playlist plans basically to cover all the topics what we have seen inside this user guide first of all we will understand about about the folder structure of code igniter after that we are going to make our mvc pattern means we are going to make a view 
controller and a database query setup. Means we are going to follow a basic step by step guide. So if I scroll down, as we can see that inside general topics, if I make some zoom, inside these general topics, as we can see, code igniter URLs, controllers, our reserve names, views, models, helpers, and many more topics inside we can find here. Also, we will make our custom libraries. Also, we will make our database queries, helpers, all the topics we will cover inside our playlist. Code Igniter default provides many helpers and many libraries according to their use. As example that suppose if we want to use the captcha in our project then by using captcha helper. As we can see captcha helper we can implement the functionality of captcha inside our project. Many more helpers we can find here. Apart from these defined helper we can just make a custom helper in our video session. Back to top. Inside here as we can see that also the code igniter provides about the libraries. This is code igniter default features, default libraries. Apart from these libraries, we also make our custom library inside our video session. Now we are going to make the download and set up our code igniter setup inside our local system. So how can we download and set up the code igniter project? So back to this tab. Inside this tab, as we can see, we have a download. So if I click on download, inside this download, also we can see that here is the current version mentioned. Inside here, we can download view. It means that if we click on the first button, we will be redirected on the GitHub repository. So if I press Ctrl and click, it will open a new tab. Inside this new tab, we can find that here is the GitHub repository of the Code Igniter framework. So inside this GitHub repository, we can either clone or download here the zip folder. Apart from this GitHub repository, here also we have the download Code Igniter 3. So by clicking on that, you will get a download setup directly inside your system. And as we can see that we are going to download this 3.1.10, the Code Igniter version. So if I pause, because already I have downloaded that setup. After downloading this zipped folder, if I make unzip of that, so extract here and successfully we have extracted that. Also I am going to copy all these files and moved inside a root folder called learnci and I am going to delete this folder and also delete this zipped folder because we have extracted all the necessary files inside our root file folder called learnci. Now this is our folder, what basically our code igniter framework provides. All we are going to do code inside this application folder because inside this code igniter setup, application folder is the most important folder inside all these setups. We will discuss about the necessity of all these folders in our next video. Next I am going to open all these. Now I am going to open into the browser. So back to browser, I am going to cancel this. Let's say that localhost, inside that we have the made the folder something called learn ci. If I press enter, now we can see that our code igniter framework running successfully. Here is the dummy messages actually the code igniter project setup provides. Welcome to code igniter. The page are you looking at the generated dynamically by code igniter and this is something about the files path. So how can we find these codes inside our folder structure? We will discuss about this in our inside our next video sessions. After going through all the features of the code igniter, apart from those features, I will tell you of one more simpler actually features of code igniter is that if you have remembered about the learning processor of Laravel and KPHV, then you can find while setting our project setup, we have to do the multiple steps. For example, if you want to set up our Laravel project, then in that condition, by the help of a composer, we have to do the multiple actually the processors to download that. And also with the cake PHP, we have to set the multiple salts and their configuration setups before setting that. But inside code igniter, only we have to download the zip folder and we have to put place inside our local system or anywhere on the server and simply we can run inside the browser. This is the simplest feature of our code igniter framework. So from the next video session guys, we are going to cover about the more topics of code igniter. 
So if you have any doubt inside this video session guys then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys thank you for watching. Have a great day.